you're used to seeing. It's not a small red radish. But this is a great flavor. It has a milder radish flavor. I'm just going to give it a quick peel. And we're going to julienne this as well. If you're looking for a great gift for someone who loves to cook, go buy them a mandolin. It's amazing. So you just want to cut it so it's going to fit into the mandolin. I kind of like to even off one side so it's nice and flat to make it easier to start off julienne. Just make some nice slices. Be very careful with the mandolin, though. This this blade is super sharp. You can see these really nice thin slices that we get. Makes it really easy. So I have my carrot in here. I'm gonna add some of this daikon in here. Now to start our pickling process, what we want to do is we want to mix this with a tablespoon of sugar and also a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give that a toss, and this is going to help soften these up. They're going to start releasing some juices, and you want to just let this sit for about 10 minutes. Let me check our steak. Oh, see, look at that. We've got a beautiful hair on there. Now, over here, I have some of this daikon and carrot. And as you can see, it's nice and soft and pliable because it's already been sitting in that sugar and salt. But what I did is I rinsed and drained it. want to get off some of that excess salt. So step two of our pickling process. I'm going to add a quarter cup of unseasoned rice vinegar. Okay. <laughs> 
Foster pumpkin. No, that's your pumpkin. Yeah. That's Jake. It's mine. It's Jake. It's mine. It's mine. I know. Get him. Careful. 